A Brief History of the Cybernetic Paradigm In the beginning, for all things knowledge, was the Bible. The Bible had a story about creation, inbred curiosity about astronomy. Astronomy led to traditional Newtonian science. Quantum mechanics took over the Newtonian universe. Neither of the two, however, could explain life and its very complex solutions. Statistical methods, however, provided a bridge to new knowledge. From it, cybernetics was born. The main idea behind cybernetics was feedback, so cybernetics split into two areas connected by the same notion. The initial thrust of cybernetics was directed at mechanical controls, Feedback solved automation, which brought computers and traditional reductionist software. The first software programs were simple algorithms based on Boolean logic and reductionist mechanistic methods borrowed from traditional science. The other half of cybernetics got interested in really complex problems such as living systems and very large organizations and even whole societies. Feedback explained a lot of things. Information theory and chaos theory were born and fractals became a useful form of mathematics. Traditional and reductionist software generated the alphabet soup, a sea of reductionist management solutions such as TQC, TQM, Six Sigma, ERPs, BPMs, BSC, etc. All of them now belong to the complicated systems domain, according to Dave Snowden. For instance, you need something similar to a college degree to understand how SAP works. The problem is that alphabet soup solutions do not prevent companies from going extinct. In today's highly complex world, corporations and even governments will have to learn the other half of cybernetics, the one that can handle complex systems, living systems, huge nation-state-like organizations. I suggest that language is UMS7, a more user-friendly version of Stafford Beer's viable system model. Only then will corporations and nation states begin to operate under real-time governance and management. When second-order cybernetics studies the cybernetics of observing systems, it grows to encompass all forms of knowledge generation. Cybernetics can explain physics as a science, but not the other way around. Most knowledge today is generated by building models, many of them computerized. Cybernetics has become the cybernetic paradigm. Thank you. To test your knowledge on cybernetics, please visit kubernetes.com and take the Kubernetes test. It is free. This video, sponsored by Kubernetes the Movie and Kubernetes Universal governance and management book. Request a free screening link at javierlivas at mac.com.